Bonjour et bienvenue mon ami. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be going through my recently purchased First World War French Horizon Blue Poilu uniform from 1915 onwards. This was the standard uniform issued to all French soldiers Poilu uh, of the First World War. Um, I'm going to go through what I have, what I need, essential items, and I'll start from top to bottom, so we'll get straight into it, I guess. Um, first off, I've got my work in progress SMLE. I don't, I'm not yet working on a Lavelle rifle, that's hopefully my next project. This is all I got. Um, and I don't own a real one because it's pretty hard to own a rifle. So, so that's all I got so far, it's as close as I'm going to get. Um, top to bottom, I don't yet have the M15, M1915 Adrian helmet, which is also Horizon Blue, um, or a Kepi, but they're both what I'm aiming to get next, so that'll be in an update, hopefully. Um, that next down, the webbing. The webbing consists of M1905-15 uh, Labelle leather cartridge pouches. There's three of them. One on the left hip, one on the right, and one on the rear. Um, M1905-14 uh, single hole, single buckle leather belt. Um, uh, M1892-14 uh, leather wire straps. Um, and M1888-14 uh, Labelle bayonet frog, which goes on the side there. The webbing remained the same for the entirety of the war, although it changed from um, black leather webbing to this brown colour mid to late war. So yeah, that's pretty cool. In the early months of 1915, the French adopted the Horizon Blue um, material and uniform. So that consisted of Horizon blue great coat as I've got on, tunic underneath, um, breeches, horizon blue breeches, and puttees, and obviously the Adrian helmet in, I believe it was late 1915. And lastly, on the bottom, I've got the M1912 model um, trench hobnail boots. I'll try and get it up again. Yep. Uh, the boots were modified in 1915 and then again in 1916. The French style boots were the same design shared with the Americans and other allies throughout the war. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll quickly do a turnaround so you can see the whole kit and caboodle. Alright, so what I'm missing um, or what I need to get is the tunic, the M1915 Horizon Blue tunic, um, which goes underneath the great coat, except the great coat was worn um, primarily when in the trenches, and uh, I think it was a standing order, I believe. Um, as I said before, the Horizon Blue Kepi and M1915 Adrian helmet, um, white cotton undershirt, tunic. Um, the French canteen, which is very different and prominent in design um, in the First World War. It's very recognisable. Recognisable, sorry. Um, yeah, but that's it. That's the whole uniform. I'm pretty stoked about it and I can't wait to do some more uh, videos on this uniform. It's looking great and it's been a bit of a dream of mine since um, my affair with uh, World War One history. So, I'm pretty proud to own it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned.